Now, a certain man named Lazarus was ill. He was from Bethany. Uh, Bethany was the village where Martha and her sister Mary lived. Mary was the woman who anointed our Lord with oil and, and w wiped his feet with her hair. Uh, Lazarus was their brother. So the sisters sent word to Jesus saying, Lazarus, your friend is ill. Well, when Jesus heard the news, he said, this illness will not end in death. It is to the glory of God. It is through this illness that the Son of God will be glorified. Now, Jesus loved Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus. And yet, when he heard the news, he stayed in the place where he was two days longer. And then he said to his disciples, Come, let us go to Judea. And his disciples said, Lord, when you were there recently, they tried to stone you. Why do you want to go back again? And Jesus said, There are twelve hours in a day. If you walk during the day, you do not stumble, for you see by the light of the day. But when you walk in the night, then you stumble, for you do not have the light within you. This is what he said. And then he said to his disciples, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, and we must go and wake him. And they said, Lord, if he is sleeping, then he will recover. You see, they thought he was talking about sleep, sleep. And so he said to them clearly, Our friend Lazarus is dead. And I'm glad for your sakes that I was not there, so that you might believe. Come, let us go. And Thomas, the one they called the twin, he turned to the other disciples, saying, Well, let us go with him, so that we may die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. Now, Bethany was near Jerusalem, just about two miles away, and people had come to comfort Mary and Martha about their brother's death. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. Mary stayed, sat in the house. When Martha met him, she said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Yet, even now, I believe that whatever you ask of God, God will grant it to you. And Jesus said to Martha, your brother will rise again. And she said, I know, Lord, that he will rise again on the last day, in the resurrection. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? And Martha said, Yes, Lord. I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. When Martha had said this, she went and found her sister Mary and spoke to her quietly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. And Mary jumped up quickly and went out to him. And those who were with her got up and followed her, thinking she was going to the tomb to cry. Jesus was still in the same place where Martha had met him. He hadn't come into the town and Mary found him there. She fell at his feet, and she said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her crying, and, and the others too with her weeping, he was deeply moved and troubled. He said to them, 
where have you laid him? And they said, come, we will show you. And Jesus wept. And some there said, see how much he loved him. And others said, could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind have kept Lazarus from dying? So Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. The tomb was a cave carved into the rock and a stone had been laid in front of it. And Jesus said, take away the stone. Oh, Martha said, Lord, Lord, it will not smell good. He's been in there for four days already. And Jesus said to Martha, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? And they took the stone away. Jesus looked upwards and said, Father, I thank you that you hear me. I know that you always hear me. But I say this so that those gathered round might believe and know you sent me. And then, with a loud voice, he cried out, Lazarus, come out! And then, the dead man came out of the tomb. His hands and, and feet were, were bound, his, his head covered in a cloth. Now, said Jesus, unbind him and let him go. Well, many who were there with Mary and Martha believed in him because of what they saw him do. But others, they went to the Pharisees and they told them what he had done. Mm -hmm.